The Arctic Race suspension is designed to be light and strong and deliver the most predictable handling for a very confidence-inspiring ride. Here at Articat, we uh, separate our upper and lower A-arm more than uh, is maybe standard in the industry. It gives our snowmobile more of a motocross look uh, with the tall spindles and the real functional reason for that was to lighten up the upper A-arm and the upper structure in the chassis. It allows us to position the engine uh, to get the perfect balance and center of gravity on our Articat snowmobiles. To understand Arctic Cat's revolutionary slide action rear suspension, Ron explains how typical snowmobile suspensions work and how the slide action creates better traction. If you uh, look up front, there's a track drive that's driven by the chain case, it's driven by the belt, that's driven by the engine. So that rotates in this direction. Okay, that then is pulling the top of the track, which comes around the rear idler wheels of the skid frame, and then makes contact with the ground. That's what's driving the snowmobile, is the rear wheel of the skid frame. The track's pulling over the top, therefore pushing on the rear wheels. The rear wheels are attached to the skid frame, which is a solid member. There's two arms on our skid frame. The rear arm is attached here and here. The front arm is attached here and here. The front arm is a solid member. Now it's connected to the rail up to the chassis. This simulates the side tunnel of the chassis. The uh, rear is attached to the skid rail in the chassis. But if you'll watch when I move the skid frame, you can see there's what's called a lost motion in the back. So therefore, when the sled's being pushed, it can't push through this lost motion. It pushes through the front arm of the skid frame. With our new design, uh, the sliding front arm, as this continues to transfer back and lifting the front of the sled, the uh, front arm slides away and the rear arm's now the driver. If they were parallel, the front end, front arm would have pulled the front of the rail up off the ground and losing traction. Here, the uh, front of the rail can continue to follow the ground and continue to look for traction. So if you could imagine grabbing the throttle, tipping back on standard technology, the front arm would come up, the suspension would feel short. On the Articat slide action suspension, the front is allowed still to fall out and accept the next bump that you attack. So it creates a real in-control, traction, smooth, ultimate feeling riding a snowmobile. The 128 Procross and the 137XF both use a 286 pitch pattern track. Part of the reason for that is, is on the trail for uh, sound and vibration. We have what's called a bump track. It's Articat technology that creates a soft, quiet ride going down the trail. On our more off trail, you'd say if you rode out in deep snow a lot or in the mountains and off trail, we have a 3-0 pitch pattern track that creates better traction in deep snow. Maybe a little louder on the trail, but if traction's your thing, that's what we've put on our XF uh, 141s.